crispy. Hey, what's good, viewer? This is Spanky. Today I've got the Marvel Legends Infinite Series Valkyrie. At least I'm pretty sure that's what their name is. Let's turn it around and see if I'm right. Ooh, that's a pretty sexy picture. Yep, Valkyrie. And she likes to hang out with Thor and stuff like that. And of course, I'll be having the review of Thundra here coming soon. And there's a picture of Valkyrie on the side art. Looking pretty cool. If you want, you can read this stuff up here. Let me zoom it in. With a, uh, oh, that's pretty cool. Anyways, rest of the line right there. I'm definitely reviewing everything, so stay tuned and watch the rest of my reviews. Other than that, let's open it up. Before we get to the actual figure, I just want to take a quick little peek at the sword. I really love how they actually molded that little, looks like a dragon head almost, or maybe a wolf head. I don't know, it looks pretty cool. I'm, I'm just really happy that they took the time to actually mold that, and they actually molded the uh, handle of the sword and everything. So it looks pretty cool. Usually they just put everything in one basic color, but they actually gave us a little bit of silver on it too. So they gave us a uh, two-tone sword. Usually they'd just make it all gold or something really cheap like that. So this figure mold has a little bit of love-hate going on here. Uh, her face mold just looks really, really bad. You can see to the side, for some reason her head just looks humongous. Uh, they did a really good job with the hair sculpt. But she just, she's a big head for real. Um, talking about really good hair sculpt, this looks awesome. Her pigtails look pretty and freaking amazing. And they got a little two tone there. It's not all they got the black. And uh, they show the detail. They popped out the v detail with the black there and, and with her blonde hair. So the hair looks really good. Her, but her head just looks ginormous. And her face sculpt did not come out very well. She's pretty ugly, unfortunately. I'm um, looking at the rest of the body. Not a really bad mold at all. It looks pretty good. I like the little bicep bands they put there. It looks pretty cool. And then she's got the Madonna thing going on with her tat ties. She's got a silver neck collar there. So she has that kind of Thorish uh, Asgardian look to her. It looks really good. The belt is actually sculpted to her body. Let's zoom in there on the booty. Um, her belt is uh, sculpted to her body. It looks really good. Really nice belt. I'm actually not mad that it's sculpted to her body. It looks really nice and it's not going to move around and go in weird positions. So I'm not too uh, upset about that. We see the gauntlets on her wrists, which look okay. Uh, she's got really nice definition in her arms. Definitely looks like a heroine. Heroin addict or a heroine. Heroin is how you say it. It sounds like I'm saying a drug, but I think it's pronounced heroin, like a woman hero. I'm not too happy about the way uh, her hands are both meant to hold the sword. I wish one was a fist. So, because she's supposed to be a badass, so she you knows she's punching things and killing things with her hands, but she's got two open-handed arms and open-handed fists, whatever you want to call her, fingers. Um, they're not sculpted bad or anything, but like I said, I just wish one was a, uh, I wish one was a fist. And that's all I got to say about that. So she could be punching things and not just hold on to her sword. I mean, if she came with another sword, that would make sense, but uh, her legs are just solid black. They look like female legs, they look pretty good, no uh, complaints on the legs there at all. As we get into articulation, we're not going to get much out of the head because of the way the hair is sculpted. It will go back, actually it won't because this is actually going to stop it right there. It will go forward quite a bit because this is pretty pliable, but not too pliable, but it just looks weird. Her head just looks so freaking weird, I don't know why, what it is. It will do the exorcist, which is pretty neat, so we do get a, she can actually look both ways, which most of these we female characters can't because of the way the hair is molded, but compared to most female characters, she gets a lot of good uh, head articulation. Her arms will do a 360 here. We've got an upper bicep swivel, single jointed elbow, which is kind of disappointing, so she's not getting much out of that. we get got a swivel here and a hinge at the wrist. Not much ab crunch at all, as most of these female characters do not. I guess they don't want to uh, sacrifice the abs, or maybe it's just too small of a waist for them to do ab crunches like they do on the male characters. I'm not sure. I mean, Spider-Man's a pretty thin character, but for some reason, all the female characters are kind of lacking, uh, what do you call them, ab crunches there. There is no swivel at the waist at all, which is kind of disappointing. Legs can go up that far. They can't go back really far at all. Uh, single jointed or double jointed knees I'm sorry and we get an upper thigh swivel swivel as well don't let me forget that no calf swivel we get the uh, ankle rocker here and an ankle hinge 
So lately, Hasbro has been knocking it out of the park with these female figures. I've been liking them a, a lot, but I really, for some reason, just don't like this figure that much. Her head is a bit big. Actually, it's just it's really too big. It throws her off balance a lot. Um, I wasn't too happy about the way the hands were sculpted. One should have been a fist. She doesn't need two sword handing uh, hands or anything like that. Articulation's okay. Uh, she gets a little bit more range and stuff like that than most female characters in the head. Uh, paint apps were okay, but it's just, I don't know what it's lacking. It just, uh, it's not bad. I can't complain too much. I'm glad to have a Valkyrie figure. I'm pretty sure there's not a single one out there other than this one. There may be a Toy Biz one, but I highly doubt it. So for that fact, I will recommend it. It doesn't look horrible. The hair is sculpted really well, but she's just a big head. I'm just gonna keep saying that. She's just a really big, big head. Uh, you can get the re you can get this and the rest of the wave at Big Bag Toy Stores. There's a link in the description below. Uh, other than that, guys, that's that's all I got. That's all I got. So thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. Hope you have a good day. Later.